Welcome back to a brand new coffee tech break with Jan. Now, I think I got a great video for you today. And it's all about the Ego Eye Director 2 and cascading that with another Ego Director 2, which I will show you hands on. And it's really a pleasure to have Ed Ego Director 2 here today because this guy is traveling a lot uh, to, uh, to our customers for demonstrations. And it is, I think, not one of the, but maybe the most powerful uh, speaker and group track camera, I think, in the market today. You can use it not only with a codec, uh, but you can also use it using the USB cable. Uh, so you can hook it up to your PC, laptop, to a Teams room system, to a service hub, as I said, just to your laptop, very simple, but you got a really powerful camera. Eh? Now, I also created other videos eh, about the Director 2. So if you need some room requirement information and eh, the lightning, the height, different room scenarios, eh, review those other videos eh, so you can see what is needed. In the basis, uh, let me quickly review. So the Ego Director 2 uh, consists of a base uh, and it consists of two Eagle Eye 12 times zoom, optical zoom camera. You got two of them which go here inside uh, the base. You can also use the four times optical zoom. So in case you already have those cameras, you can use them also uh, in the base of the Ego Director 2, just uh, for your information. But now I have here Eagle Eye 4 12 times optical zoom, which can go in a room up to 10 meters. Eh? Now you got here an analytics camera. So this gives you a room view. And I will show you a bit later eh, that you can turn it off or you can put that eh, picture in picture at different locations in, uh, in the screen. So this picture in picture will only come into the view when there's multiple people in the room. And eh? then it will give you a sort of uh, room view. Now, the technology is based on voice and face. That's very important. Uh, so you got microphones in here, you got microphones in the base. So it's trying to find the speaker in that room in combination with the face. So this is why lightning is always super important uh, that it's able to find uh, that person in the room. And that counts for any camera. Uh, now, that will go faster and faster throughout the meeting. So that's very important. It will remember uh, the coordinates of the different speakers in the room. So as soon as somebody has spoken, another person starts talking again, uh, which was earlier uh, found as a speaker, then it will go faster to that second speaker. Uh. So this is something which is very good to know. It will learn uh, using its own AI technology uh, and learn where the speakers are. Now, in this short tech tip video, uh, I wanted to show you how to cascade two Ego Director 2s. Now, take a cup of coffee and I will talk you through the requirements and how to set up that cascade. Uh, so first off, Ego Director 2. It is used in a lot of room scenarios today. Think of that extended classroom. Think of a medical world uh, where you got a doctor sitting in the room who's gonna sit everywhere. Uh, and especially that 10 meters is important today uh, for those uh, bigger rooms. As you see, it's a lot of flexibility which you have, and it's really easy to set up, which, uh, which I will show you. Now, what I will use today is uh, I will use C60, as you see here at the table. And I have an Ego Director 2, a primary, which is here connected to a service, which can be a service of one or service of two. But I use a C60, but as you've seen in previous video, eh, you can also use uh, Sure, Biamp, QSC equipment. Eh, so there's all kinds of bridges between eh, those different environments. Now, I got as an example here, a Trio, 8800, but it can also be a C60 or an 8500. Now, on the other end, I have a secondary Ego Director 2. And I will show you in this video how you can pair those two together. Now, what are the wiring requirements? You got power. And so on the secondary, as you see here, you got power and you need to connect to a LAN. The primary is connected 
through a USB port and through the service hub, you also have power, so it has dedicated standalone power, and you need to connect it to the LAN and make sure that the primary and the secondary are on the same VLAN, eh? at least at the initial setup. Now, and also if you got here a C60 or 85 or 8800 at the table, it will be USB connected to the service hub. Uh, you got LAN and combination with PoE uh, to power also this device. Now, let me show you the options to connect uh, the primary and the secondary Ego Director 2. Now, at the end, what I usually do is just a straight cable between the two. Cut 5E, cut 6, direct cable, and ready to go. And uh, so both of them will automatically communicate with each other. But before we can directly connect them, it makes sense to first connect them through a network. Uh, and on that network, you can have your laptop and you can configure them as master and slave. Uh, and then at the end, you can connect them directly. Now, on the other end, the primary, so not the secondary, only the primary needs to be connected using USB or HDCI. So HDCI to the G3500 there, uh, and USB to a Teams room system or to your laptop, etc. But what is important, make sure that that primary is connected through one of those ports, because otherwise you'll not be able to finish the cascade setup. Eh? It needs to identify which one is the primary, and it does that by connecting uh, one of those connectors. Now, let me show you through the web interface eh, of the Ego Director 2, how that looks like. So here you see my two Ego Directors, eh, which are connected to the network. Now, what is important, if you first time and you just started eh, and you connect them to the network, you need to download the Ego Director 2 app. As you see here, you go to support.polycom.com, go to the Ego Director 2 on the peripherals, and you will find the Ego Director 2 app. Download that app and then you can discover them automatically. So let me show you that app. As you see here, it's a very simple app, but it makes life so easy because also by the serial number. Because if you got a new Ego Director 2 out of the box, the password is always the last six digits of that serial number. And so you can easily copy and paste that and connect to the Ego Director 2. Very easy. Uh, so download this app if you're new, and then you can discover both Ego Director 2s. Uh, now, let me log into them and also to the secondary. Now, what you will see is that I haven't connected, so I'm using USB cable, but I haven't connected yet my USB cable. And what you will see in the interface that you're not able to cascade yet. And this is also what I wanted to, uh, to want to show you as a tech tip. So as you can see, the cascading is now grayed out. Same on the other end. If you go to camera, cascading is grayed out as it's not connected yet through USB or uh, HDCI. Now, also what is important is make sure that both of them are on the same version. So as you can see here, both of them are on the latest 22.43. Another thing we need to do is rename, because otherwise both devices have the same name. So make sure you uh, rename one to primary and another secondary. So let me do that. So you go to device name and I call this one primary. Here you go. And uh, let me save it. And the other one I will call secondary. So we go to camera settings, device name, and we call this one secondary. And let me save it. So, so we have now this one primary and this one secondary. Now the other thing which you need to do is check if you got auto discover enabled. Make sure you have that enabled because that will make sure that you can always auto discover those devices. And here it is also enabled. Check that just to be uh, just to be sure. Now, what is also important, the primary will be also the one who rules with the configuration. And so at the end, if you got it defined, you don't 
have to do anything on the secondary anymore. Uh, so if you do software updates on the primary, it will automatically update the secondary. So now let me connect that USB cable. As I said, this is a very important one because that will identify uh, the primary now. Now, as I said, I just wait a little bit. And also what you see now, instead of standalone, stand alone, it says now connect your own device. And that means it is now in USB mode, so it is recognized. Now, I go back here now into that cascading piece. And what you will see is you will find now the status to pair this device. Very, very easy. And as soon as you define this, and then this device, as I said, will primary and the other one will be secondary. And on this one, as you will see, you don't see anything. You see also on the secondary, it's all grayed out. So only on the one where you connected that USB cable or as I said, the HDCI cable, you will get this option. Now, let me connect. What will happen is all the settings from the primary will be copied to secondary. Secondary will reboot and then they will pair up to each other. And I will show you how this looks like after that reboot has been done. Now, as soon as the secondary is rebooted, what you will see on the primary, let me show you. It will now show you behind the connect your own device, it will show primary. And now let me go to the secondary. What you will see is this is now mode secondary. And it also points out that the primary is this one. And that's it. It's very, very easy. It's just some minor things which you need to look at. Uh, and then it, you should be able to go very easily. Now, you can go now onto the primary, uh, which has all the settings available. So don't change the naming now, uh, as the cascade is now made. Well, you can set up and use different modes. Uh, I usually set it to automatic, uh, so you can hook it up to a group series or G7500. Uh, and you have connect your own device, which is USB mode. Uh, but as I said, I usually leave that to automatic. Now you can reset the system here if you want or restart it. Now you can load certificates if you got 8.0.x things you want to do. Uh, now camera settings, tracking. So here you can set your uh, tracking settings. So I usually set it to fast uh, to make sure it's learning very fast in its environment. Now also you can set the PIP as you see here. So it's usually right button, eh? but you can set it to left top, right top, left button. Eh? You can even do a split screen. So you got two screens, one showing the pip and one showing the speaker. Eh? So you got all kinds of options. I usually leave that to right button, eh? uh, but of course you can always change that. And frame size means how far do you want to zoom in eh, to that uh, speaker, which I also uh, usually leave to medium. Now, as you see, my cascade is up. Eh? So as you see here, you can also disconnect that uh, if you want to break the cascade. This is now working. You can also change some cameras, some backlight compensation settings, etc. cetera, eh, if you need to change that for a specific room. Now here you can change the analytics camera. Eh? So if you need to tilt that a little bit eh, or pan that a little bit through your room, eh, you can do that right here with the options here on the side. Now also you can use presets if you want eh? So if you don't want to use speaker track, but presets, you can also do that. So I will do another video session, show you this specific uh, feature. Eh? Now under network settings, you can set eh, the security if you want, the 8.2.1x if needed. Eh? Also, you can use it on the Wi-Fi. Eh? So in case you want to manage this device through Wi-Fi, that's also a possibility. Eh? So if those two are directly connected, it makes sense eh, to use the primary on the Wi-Fi. So you can always change eh, those settings uh, if needed. And as I said, the Auto Discover is, uh, is enabled now to find each other. Also, you can force software updates if needed eh, only on the primary. Secondary eh, will automatically get those updates. And then eh, you got your diagnostics. So here in the diagnostics, as you see, uh, you can always look 
if uh, the yeah the mics are working so as you can see in the base are the mics and you can see here on the top we got the mics so you can always check if those mics are available and also your line in left and right this is something you can check with your sure so if you are integrated with sure or buying or qsc and you got that three and a half millimeter coming back and like the far end audio for the cancellation you can check always here uh, if that uh, foreign audio is being processed. So it's very nice to uh, to review those uh, those things. Now, and lastly, uh, you got your logs if uh, uh, if you need to troubleshoot something with uh, with support. Now here ends the coffee tech break session today. Uh, a sort of tech tip uh, for how to cascade to Ego Director tools. Uh, as you've seen, it's it's very easy. I always recommend uh, to work with an integrator uh, to also discuss the lightning and uh, room requirements, etc. But hopefully uh, this gives you an impression to, uh, to quickly get started and be very comfortable uh, with using two ego directed tools in your room. Now, if you got any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments. If you appreciate uh, these type of videos, also let me know. And uh, so I will uh, focus on some new videos on this uh, in the future.